Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and in this video I'm going to show you how to master the very kind of tricky focusing system on the A77 Mark II. Now there's a lot of different focusing systems that act the way that other cameras would, like you've got your single spot focus, you've got your flexible spot, which means you can move a joystick around and things like that. The thing that makes this one stand apart from all of the other cameras is, number one, it has face recognition. And number two, it actually has registered face recognition, where you can take different faces and put them in a hierarchy. So a certain person has uh, more, uh, it, it'll focus on person number one before it focuses on number two, and there's up to eight of those. So that's really cool to have that. But the other thing that's uh, great is not only does it have face recognition, but it has a locking focus uh, flexible spot. Okay, so it's called Lock On Autofocus Expand Flexible Spot. That's quite a mouthful. Think of it as this way. Think of it as moving joystick, locks with your finger, tracks the object. All right, it'll be easier if I just show you how it works. So here's what we have right now. Let's go ahead and look at the screen. And I have that, that on. Oh, by the way, before I, I uh, go too much into that, you need to know that this will only work on AFC mode. Okay, so if I go to AFA automatic autofocus and I try to activate that cool feature called uh, lock on autofocus to expand flexible spot, it will say you can't because you're in automatic autofocus. It'd be nice if it told you which one you had to be in, but it doesn't. So I'm telling you now, you've got to be in the one that's called continuous. And the reason that makes sense is because you're continuously focusing while the shutter is being fired. Now, what I'm going to show you now actually works while the camera's shutter is open. So if a person comes toward you or a ball comes toward you, during the time that the shutter is open, after you squeeze the shutter, it will continue its focus calculation, which is pretty cool. Okay, so here we are. And uh, I'll just go ahead and turn this on. You see right now it's got face recognition, okay? So you see those little squares that go across the three faces. I've got pictures in the background of my kids, and then I have my assistant, Sydney, standing in front. And she's not in focus because you see that little black dot right there? That is my flexible spot. So if I were to put this on here and lock it, it would go boom and it would lock there. Now you see a double grid go over her, and that means that it's telling us this is the one that we chose for that photo. But a lot of people don't want to move that you know, joystick around because that gets us into uh, acting like the Canon you know, 5D Mark II or Mark III or whatever, different ones. So what we do is we have lock on focus expand flexible spot and this is a crop and refocus what happened in a nikon and a canon you would go like that and lock it keep your finger down and hope that the person doesn't move but it will keep that focus plane at that moment so if you're 47 inches away and you lock it on my eyeballs you hope that i don't move back and forth on, uh, I mean, if it's on continuous, and this is the issue with those optical systems, if I'm on continuous uh, focus, what will happen is if I move back and forth, it's going to auto-pick the subject it thinks you want because it, do it really doesn't know. And it can't really tell you in an optical system. This one can tell you because you've literally got a heads-up display for everything that you're shooting. So this is how it works. Watch this. I'm going to have the black dot there. And now I'm focused on the boy. See that? So as I move around, it stays on the boy. I'm going to go right here and focus on the girl. As it moves around, it stays on the girl. Even though the two are side by side, and even though the two are on the same plane, it's going to hang on to that. Now let's go to an object, which is this camera. Okay, so this is not a person, and it'll hang on to the object, not the people. So what happens is on this locking, expandable, flexible spot, it will hang on to whatever was in that center and it'll hang on to that. That's the way that you can override the face detection because other than that, if you don't do that, it's always going to be hunting and seeking faces. And it's going to be seeking faces under face registration or it'll hunt and seek faces um, uh, you know, based on the focus spot that you had. But this is how that goes. So it's kind of cool because you can completely move directly off the lens and then, oops, you can move completely off the lens, come back, and then it will regain that focus. Okay, so see that, how, how there's those three spots. And that's basically how it works. It's called lock on, lock on. Oh, let me find it for you. It's the, um, you know, it's the Japanese that came up with a nomenclature. A lock on uh, autofocus expand a flexible spot. Um, so that's uh, quite
quite a mouthful. Think of it as uh, pick the joystick and lock it while it's moving. Yeah, you're right. It would be hard to, hard to, it's not only hard to name, but it's hard to teach. But once you know how to do it, then think about what you've got. You have the ability to shoot people without having to, you know, lock on them because it's going to do uh, face recognition. And then if you want to override that, just simply move that flexible black dot to something, hold your finger down, and it'll hang on to it no matter how violent things get. If you're on a rocking boat in a storm or whatever, it's going to hang on to that thing. So that's how that works. Okay, hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We got new videos coming all the time, button by button videos, which is what we're really proud of. And then also, if you want to learn in really good detail how to work this camera, the A77 Mark II, I've got a uh, multiple hour, very, very detailed button by button using live shoots uh, instructional course on how to unleash the power of the Sony A77 Mark II. Thanks for watching.